today we will see the continuation of my previous lecture that is we will uh, solve the problem 7.3 uh, of Griffith uh, uh, already I have given the part one since it's a lengthy problem I have divided into two today we will see the part two of the problem 7.3 of Griffith third edition chapter 7 the problem is we have two identical spin zero bosons uh, which are placed in the uh, in an infinite square well so for which the potential v x is equal to zero between zero to a uh, that is a is the uh, box length width of the uh, box and uh, it is infinite otherwise uh, and uh, assume that they interact weakly with one another via the potential Vx1, X2 is equal to minus uh, AV0 delta uh, X1 minus X2, where uh, V0 is a constant with the dimension of energy and A is the width of the well. Uh, so now we will solve the second one part. In my previous lecture, we have solved the section A. Now, section P, uh, that is, use first order perturbation theory to estimate the effect of particle particle interaction on energies of ground state and first excited state. Uh, so, by definition, uh, the energy of the ground state, perturbed energy of the ground state, this sub 1 indicate the energy state, that is n equal to 1 ground state, then superscript 1 indicate the first order energy correction, which is equal to uh, the expectation value of perturbed Hamiltonian on unperturbed uh, wave function. Uh, that is ground state wave function psi 1 0 here also psi 1 0 uh, now you know the wave function is uh, psi of x is equal to uh, in the case of infinite potential well it is uh, square root of 2 by a where square root of 2 by a is normalization constant sin uh, n n by divided by a x uh, in the case of uh, ground state, n is equal to 1. So, this will simply become pi by a. So, uh, the, uh, this will become, uh, if you find the perturbed energy state, then uh, psi squared power. Uh, psi squared power wave function 1 is equal to this square. 2 by a uh, sin squared pi divided by a x1 because n is equal to 1. Uh, similarly, uh, for second particle, uh, sin squared pi uh, divided by a x2 and uh, this 2 pi a 2 pi a will become 2 pi uh, a squ whole square uh, because for part, uh, first particle the square is 2 pi a, second particle again 2 pi a, this will become 2 pi a uh, whole square and the perturbation is perturbed uh, potential is minus a v naught as given in project uh, problem v naught is a constant so i am taking outside of the integral and it, uh, a v naught minus a v naught delta x1 minus uh, x2 tx1 tx2 now this delta function uh, Dirac delta function uh, is 1 only if uh, x1 is equal to x2, which is equal to x. So, this will become uh, sin power uh, 4 uh, pi x divided by a dx. Uh, with, uh, within the limit to 0 to a, here uh, this term, if you multiply this 2 squared, it, you will get 4. Uh, so, 4 v naught this a here you will get a squared will cancel with this a squared so in the denominator you will get a of course this minus is there now you keep this argument of uh, sign uh, as uh, y that is pi by a x is equal to uh, y 
Then uh, Tx is equal to, you bring this to the right hand side, this will become a divided by pi dy. So you replace uh, Tx by a divided by pi dy and this argument is y. And you have to change the limit also because uh, when x equal to 0, y equal to 0. No problem. When x equal to a, this a, a will get cancelled. Uh, so y will become uh, pi. So I have changed the limit as pi. Now we have to find the value of this integral. So uh, now we have seen e sub 1, 1 is equal to minus 4 v naught divided by a integral between 0 to pi uh, sine power 4 y uh, a divided by pi dy. Now you bring a uh, divided by uh, pi outside the integral. Now this a and this a will get cancelled. Uh, so uh, you will uh, you will get to 4v divided by uh, pi. Uh, now uh, now you integrate. You take this integral alone. That is uh, integral 0 to 5 sine power 4y dy. So uh, if you take the integral, it will come in power series. Uh, 3 divided by 8y minus 1 by 4 sine 2y uh, plus 1 by 32 sine uh, 4y uh, between the limit 0 to pi. Here if you apply this limit, if you apply uh, upper limit uh, sine pi uh, that is y equal to pi, uh, that case also you will get 0. When you apply uh, 0, then uh, this sine 0 also 0, sine pi also 0. So these two terms, this uh, two sine term will get cancelled. So only term left is 3 by 8 y. Upper limit is pi. So this will become uh, 3 divided by 8 into pi. Uh, here already we have this outside the integral minus 4 v naught pi pi. So minus 4 v naught uh, divided by pi. Now you can uh, ca uh, cancel this 4 with this 8. Uh, here, uh, as I said, uh, this will become 0. This is also will become 0. Now, uh, this will uh, become 2. Uh, one, if you divide 8 by 4, and this pi pi will get cancelled. Pi pi will get cancelled. So, you will get 3 pi 2 uh, V naught. So, this is first order energy correction is uh, 3 by 2 V naught uh, for ground state energy. Then we will see for excited state. So just now we have found the uh, first order uh, energy correction. That is the first order energy correction of uh, crown state. Now first order energy correction of excited state. So first excited state is E2 where n equal to 2. And one, this one indicates the uh, first order energy correction. So this is by definition is equal to the expectation value of the perturbed Hamiltonian uh, on the second order, uh, sorry, uh, uh, excited wave function, psi 2. Uh, this is also unperturbed, that you have to keep it in your mind. That is uh, psi 2, uh, wave function 2, under unperturbed condition. That is important. In the uh, part one of the same problem, we have seen uh, psi to zero, psi sub to zero, which is a function of x1, x2 is equal to uh, square root of two divided by a uh, sine pi by a x1 uh, into sine two pi by a x2 plus sine two pi by a x1 uh, into sine pi by a x2 uh, and perturbed uh, potential is uh, v x1 x2 is equal to minus a v naught delta x1 minus x2. Uh, now uh, you can find this uh, e2 of 1 is equal to uh, this uh, wave function you take this uh, square of this wave function if you take this square square root of 2 will become 2, 
a will become a squared and the entire sign term uh, squared and apply the perturbed potential which is equal to minus a v naught because v naught is a constant I am taking out and the delta function I am bringing inside the uh, integral. So now th th this integral you have solution only if x1 is equal to uh, x2 which is equal to x I am taking as. So uh, if you sub if you keep uh, x1 and x2 as x, you will get this plus this two times uh, sine pi by x. Here you have the sine uh, pi x divided by a. Here also sine uh, pi x divided by a. Similarly, pi 2x divided by a, pi 2x divided by a. This is uh, two times. Two times the uh, same thing uh, squared. So if you square 2, you will get 4 and the remaining term you keep it. This will become single uh, integral between 0 to a. Uh, here you can see there is uh, 2 and here you have 4. If you multiply this you will get 8. So 8 v naught divided by a and uh, this integral value. We will see what is this integral value. Now we got uh, e2 of 1 is equal to minus 8 v naught divided by a this integral. Now you have to replace uh, the argument of this first sign that is pi by a uh, x is equal to y. Uh, then uh, as uh, just now as uh, we have done dx will be a divided by pi dy. So you replace it here. So this argument will become y. Uh, here you can see there are two times 2y this will become 2y and dx will be a divided by pi so I am taking that outside uh, so uh, now this a and a will get cancelled and this uh, sine squared can uh, 2y here you have sine squared 2y which can be uh, written as uh, using trigonometry this is equal to 2 times sin y cos y whole square. So this uh, 2 square will, will become 4 and this will become uh, sin square and uh, this will become uh, because with this square after squaring it I have taken out this is sin square again sin square y and this is uh, cos square y and also here I am cancelling a uh, with this a. So this will become minus a 8 v naught divided by pi and 4. 4 comes from this term and uh, this is uh, after squaring this I will get sin squared y sin squared y uh, multiplied by cos squared y from this. Then uh, cos squared y can be written as this sin squared uh, x sin squared x will become uh, this is uh, sin power 4 and it is uh, cos squared y will become 1 minus uh, sin squared. So uh, we will see what will happen. If you multiply this 4 and 8 you will get 32. Uh, this is uh, 1 minus sin squared. So if you multiply 4 into 8 you will get 32 v naught divided by pi. We will see uh, how to calculate this integral. As I said, uh, if you multiply this 8 and 2, you will get uh, 8 and 4, you will get uh, 32 and you have v naught divided by pi, that I have written here. Then uh, this integral uh, can be separated into two parts, uh, sine power 4y uh, into 1 which is equal to sin power 4y dy minus this already sin power 4 is there here sin squared. So this will become uh, sin power 6y. So now uh, the first integral is equal to uh, 3 divided by 8 pi. Uh, we have seen uh, in part 1. Similarly this uh, sin uh, power 6 is pi divided by 16 uh, times pi. So now this e21 is equal to minus uh, 
32 v naught pi. Uh, this one is uh, first integral is uh, 3 pi, uh, 3 divided by 8 pi. And uh, this one is uh, minus pi divided by 16 pi. So here you can see uh, this pi, all the, uh, this pi and this pi will get cancelled with this uh, uh, numerator pi. So this will become minus 32 v naught. Now if you multiply this uh, and divide by, multiply and divide by 2, so you will get uh, 6 divided by 16 minus pi divided by 16, which is equal to 1 divided by 16. So uh, here you have 32. If you uh, divide this uh, 32 with 16, uh, you will get simply 2. So this is equal to uh, minus 2 V naught. This is the first excited energy uh, correction. So uh, Thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously.